Hello everyone, thank you for joining me in a new tutorial. In this video, I'm going to make this beautiful sleep bag for babies with this beautiful um, stitch box of beads. And I wish you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to subscribe, give me some likes, and let's get started with the materials. Materials. I use this um, basic jar. It's number four. I use a little bit of this pink baby tan. I need uh, scissors, young needle, some uh, pins for mark, and um, I use this hook for 25 millimeters and this one for a uh, card. And let's get started with my white color move this right here and I'm gonna start uh, make my uh, chains that I needed and I make the chains um, first I'm gonna start with the slip knot I pass the cut end through my finger and I loop it like this loop it then I pass the hook inside this loop and join over right here, pull the jar, and pull the tail like this. And I have now a slip knot. Now again, with my hook inside this, I pull the jar again, and this is my chins. See, we make how much that we need. Now, that's the chains. Now I may I we need for this started um, 49 chains, and I have here a stripe of 49 chains. Then now here in my 49, um, I start make single crochets. I'm going back in my second chain, going through the loop. Jump over, bring it, and this is my first single crochet. Going through the chain, jump over, pull the, the yard, and this is my single crochet. And I go make the whole this 49 chains and single crochets. When you have a long stripe of 49 uh, single crochets, we're going back with um, chain two, one, two, and I make a second double crochet. My first chains as are my first double crochet, and I make another double crochet, and the third uh, single crochet, I'm gonna start the stitch, box of beads. I make a double crochet, a normal double crochet. I turn a little bit, uh, my my work and I'm make trying to make another double crochet and I finish I'm working in this double crochet I'm going again to make another double crochet and I finish and another one and finish with these three together like this that's the beads and this is the box a uh, uh, single crochet in the next one and another stitch one double crochet in the next one three unfinished double crochets two three and extended single crochet and I still work the single crochets and that's the beads and the box we make the long stripe of 49 uh, single crochets doing this stitch it's very easy then when you finish the line you can make and the two last uh, single crochets you need to make two double crochets the same that when we started 
look I'm finished this round that's beautiful and I'm finished with two double crochets now for my next uh, round I make one uh, chain turn around and I'm start make single crochets again this line again every time when we finish this uh, bits we start and make another round of single crochets for the base of this and I make one single crochet and each and each uh, stitch until we finish and the other side I'm finished this round of single crochets and this is my base for the start again this round the second round um, now for the next round chain two one two double crochet and in the next double crochet I make the beads and I'll do this for 29 more rounds and this is one of my first beads it's 29 rounds 30 uh, plus the first one that I have I made 30 math, more and this is the box of beads this beautiful and this look like a cheap her. now for my next five rounds I make a decrease in each round and for the decrease I make uh, just a slice stitch in this a slice stitch in this and the first uh, and this and this uh, okay I have one two three slides and the next uh, single crochet I make a single crochet and I'm start to make the run of single crochets when I'm be here and the other side this is my 49 stitch I'm I'm finished here that's the I this is decrease I'm finished in this single crochet right here okay let's go make it I'm here in the other si their side and I'm now working this part this my decrease now I make chain two one two and I make another double crochet here and in my next double crochet I'm gonna start make the beads again and I'm gonna make uh, four more rounds the same of this we decrease in here and this part now I'm finished my five rounds we decrease and for now I leave this big part this is uh, my big part is in the back I leave it here for now I walk later in this now I'm gonna start it again with uh, with my color white I'm gonna start make another 49 I'm gonna start work the front part 49 chains again and do the same of this but just 14 rounds we do all the same just 14 rounds of this I have here a second piece this is part of my front part 14 rounds that's it 14 rounds the same and I'm finished here and I leave it just like this because later we sew in these parts then now I can start it and make um, 26 chains and we do um, the same of this just have 
something different in this. Let's make uh, 26 chains and let's go back with um, a round of single crochets and one round of uh, this one, the, the stitch. Okay, my third piece is 28 uh, chains, one round of single crochets, one round of 20 the beads, and we still have two double crochets on each side. And the next round of beads, a box of beads, I need to make another one right here. It's another bead, but I don't make it. I make two chains, one, two, and I'm finished here with my two. I jump the bead and I make, I'm finished here with my uh, two double crochets, just like this. And we make a hole for, um, the corn that the corn that we made. Now chain one and I'm gonna start make the round of single crochets and these two chains I make a single crochet in each chain. Single crochet one two and I'm going to make the line uh, the round of single crochets. The next round is going to be the whole beads. I make another bead right here and the next one have a hole. I'm finished this little piece of 28 chains. See, it's one of the front parts and I have five holes, 11 rounds, 11 rounds. We uh, need another piece the same of this two pieces the same of this and uh, we started make uh, sewing the 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 piece I'm finish my part here see with uh, one two three four five holes Okay, and now I cut the jar right here and I have two of these two pieces the same okay now I'm started um, I'm gonna start sewing these parts these two little parts come with this part the 14 rounds and I got the part right here and I sew in this here, right here, one, and the other one comes right here, like this. Okay, I'm starting this part. I already have my, my yarn needle ready. I put the two pieces together right here in the center. See, they have to be the same size. Both sides the same. And it's just like that. I'm gonna start sewing this part right here with the normal stitch right here. I'm finished sewing this part. Now I have the three parts together like this. I leave this part right here and I'm gonna start with the big one. Remember when we do a uh, decrease, we have this and we don't need it. We have to make close, just one piece. Then the way that I do is two single crochets in the top and two half double crochets here in the middle. 
It's very easy to do it. Like this. First I make a one chain. Slice this here because I need to go in the middle, slice stitch. Now in the center right here I make one half double crochet, two, then I bring this half this half double crochet through here with the slice stitch another slice stitch and another half double crochet here in the middle another one here and a slice stitch right here then we close this part we make two slides two, two half double crochets to slide to half double crochets. Look, I fix this part and this part. Then both sides are the same. Now this is the back and this part is the front. Now I start sewing in this my front part with my back side. And when we start sewing right here, sewing this part, this is my part at the front, we came here and this uh, have like this and this okay because right here we make like a, a still like a hoodie or hat. We're trying to fix it. But first we need to sew in this part right here, start it right here on the bottom. I have my yarn needle right here ready and I'm going to start in this size. Doing the same, a normal stitch. Now I have the sleeping sack like this. I have the front part have uh, enough space for the baby move the legs and now for make this part on the top I'm gonna start here in the center and start make a uh, single crochet with the, the other color with pink right here I make one single crochet make one change and I'm gonna start around of this part with the holes all this part through here half uh, uh, single crochets this little part now I'm here in this part I'm gonna make 80 chains 80 chains and I'm put it right here the single crochet and I start make single crochets until we are here when we started okay let's go make 80 chains I make this right here and finish here with the slice stitch and now I cut the jar right here and started um, cut the jar here and I'm started here with um, double crochets I make rounds of double crochet starting right here and the first chain right here that's my first chain I start here and make one uh, chain three one two three then now I make one double crochet in each chain 
okay I'm finished this I make one double crochet and each chain I'm here on the other side and we when we are here in my last chain I make a slight stitch just like this I have this right here and I make a slight stitch and this single crochet right here slight stitch and this is gonna be like this another slight stitch here in the middle and another one and again and this single crochet right here now I turn around my work and yarn over and start going back make double crochets over every uh, double crochet and when we are here we do the same on the other side and we fill it up all this until right here the same of this it's very easy I'm finished this part and now before I put I, I cut I cut the yarn right here okay cut the yarn because I'm finished this and now before I sew in this part here to here see like this I'm decrease this part here from here I decreasing uh, two rounds of uh, each um, two rounds on decrease let me show you how it's very easy because I need uh, fill it with this when I sewing fill it up this I'm gonna start um, with chain three one two three and in my next stitch and I finish my double crochet I make another double crochet and I finish and I finish the three another one one two and I finish this this two and each decreasing because I need the same side of this when I'm sewing this right here I need the same side from here I'm finished the two rounds of decreasing right here in the center and now I cut the yarn right here i am finished this part and I'm, I'm trying to find the middle of this decreasing part this is the middle put my mark right here and the middle of this middle of this is this and when I have this mark right here I sew in this part and this part too see and now I'm started here in this corner here my yarn needle ready I'm starting this corner with the normal sewing right here. Until I finish to the other side. And after sewing right here in the back, this is my finish in this sock, a uh, sleeping sock. For this part, I made this. Um, stripe with this tool that I'll show you in the next video but uh, you can make a 27 inch stripe with just chains or or check the another video with this uh, kind of stripe thank you for enjoying me in this video thank you for your like don't forget to subscribe 
And uh, don't forget to visit Amazon and Creations by Miriam in Amazon. And see you guys in next time. Thank you and I very appreciate it.